Good morning, viewer. Ben the sir. As the bracket news, yeah. We discovered pronounced men are from Mars. Women are from Venus pattern, says matrony and environmental biologist Susanne Edmonds. She refers not to human psychology but rather to mitochondria, the cell components responsible for generating energy. Edmonds, professor of biological sciences at the USC Don Sai College of Letters, Arts and Sciences, recently published research in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences that reveals vast differences in gene activity within the mitochondria of males compared to females. Although the study looks at teeny marine organisms called copepods, yeah, Edmund says the findings have weightly implications for human medicines. Yeah, the mitochondrial genome of these animals is very much like ours, same genes, same functions and similar genome size. Hundreds of human diseases are linked to dysfunctional mitochondria affecting muscles, organs such as the liver and pancreas, the brain and even the eyes and ears. Examples include muscular dystrophy, diabetes and Alzheimer disease too. Current treatments for these diseases are largely identical for men and women but Edmunds believes her study indicates this approach is often flawed. Our findings highlight the necessity of developing sex-specific mitochondrial therapies, she says. Scientists believe mitochondria originated as a single cell organism that was engulfed by another about 1.5 billion years ago. Over time, these engulfed organisms evolved to specialize in energy productions for their host cells. This symbiotic relationship has proven so beneficial that it has persisted through eons of evolution. The ancient co mingling of two organisms explains why mitochondria have their own genome separate from the cell's nucleus. It has already been established that gene activity with mitochondria varies depending on an organism's sex. Mitochondrial function can differ between males and females which typically have different energetic needs and trade-offs, Edmunds explains. But Edmunds wanted to learn more about these differences between the sexes. Her study sought to identify which mitochondrial genes are most active in males and which are most active in females and how these genes interact with nuclear genes in both sexes. To ensure she was observing sex differences caused by mitochondria, yeah, she studied a co pepot species that lack sex chromosomes. Sex chromosomes also cause differences between females and males and these sex chromosome effects are hard to disentangle from sex specific mitochondrial effects. Be in the sex exclusive report.